I was expecting to be able to grow cells in tissue culture and I saw growing up from those immediately what we now recognize as embryonic stem cells. To be honest, I was not expecting this outcome, but I think I knew at that stage what we potentially had. Martin Evans now started developing what now are known as ES cells, and so that then allowed us now to convert our studies in cell culture now to the actual making mutations in mice. If I had a book with a thousand pages and there were a thousand letters on every page, I would need three thousand of those books in order to write down the genetic material of a human or of a mouse. And so our technique allows us to alter that word in the books of life and then see what happens. And that can be very powerful. So powerful, in fact, that the discoveries of this year's three medicine laureates have led to a technology that is now applied in all areas of biomedicine. It's called gene targeting. In other words, bringing DNA from outside an animal cell into an animal cell and then finding out whether the DNA had found the right place. Gene targeting. Gene targeting allows researchers to inactivate a single gene and reveal its particular role in the development of an organism. At its inception, the idea of gene targeting in a mammal is considered virtually impossible. But most people felt that although uh, this type of event could be found in yeast, which is relatively simple, but they doubted if it could be seen in a more complex organism such as man or mouse. When we first submitted a grant and saying, you know, we wanted to do gene targeting, they said the probability of that ever happening would be too small to make it feasible. Uh, but, but I thought it was worth a try. I have one page in this notebook which describes the experiment I proposed that would let me to find out if gene targeting was possible. Uh, and uh, it's perhaps the pages of all of the notebooks I have that uh, I'm most proud of. It's a single page with well, if you like, with the recipe for a Nobel Prize. 